I'm Anthony from the Heidelberg Print Media Center here in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today we're gonna to talk about the Versifier replacing a trained customer replaceable unit part in the machine. So the reason why we're changing the part today is to make sure that we have good quality and output when we print on the machine. So just like regular maintenance on your car, you have to do regular maintenance on your Versifier. So we're gonna show you how to change the part. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into login and we're gonna log in as admin to see the life of the part. Come into operator settings for operator. We're gonna come into machine maintenance and number 504 is display of parts life. So we can see that this is all at 19% or so. Um, and to get the feel of what the part we need to change in or out, depending on what we're doing. Okay, so right now everything looks good, but we're gonna actually go in and change the part in the machine. Okay, so now we're ready to change the part in the machine. We're gonna grab our purple screwdriver, which just allows us to take the cover off and take the part out. This purple screwdriver, is used by the operator and only takes out certain screws that we're allowed to touch. Okay, so I'm gonna flip up in the hood and we have three screws that we need to take out. In this case, we only have one screw to pop out right now, just for time reasons. So we're gonna take the screw out and we're gonna lift the door off and we're gonna put it to the side. And here are our four developing units. We have yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. And to take a corona wire out, we're going to pull it out, push down a little tab and pull it out. And here's our corona wire. Now, for reasons that the machine is still very new, it's only at 19%, we're able to put this one back in and don't really need to change it. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it back in. We'll hear it click in. We'll grab our cover. We'll put the screw back in again. Close all the doors up. And now we're ready to go back to the operator panel to reset the part. Now once the part is replaced, the operator would come back to the operating panel, go into advanced settings for operator, go into machine maintenance, and in machine maintenance, we would find the reset part counter, and we would find the part that we just replaced, and we would hit execute on that part. That part would now go back to a 0% or 100% life back into it once, I, once we replaced it. Thanks for joining us. If you need any more information, please email us at info at heidelberg.com.